guys and one and welcome back to my channel it seems like forever since i've actually sat down and done a video or any sort of coloring actually last night was the first time in over two weeks i want to say that i've actually properly done coloring i took some coloring stuff away on holiday but you know i didn't really have much time i'm so perfectly honest with you uh, I spent over an hour last night swatching all these colours but I'll go into just a few bits and bobs that I brought back with me from America um, I didn't get these from America, I got these like yesterday, the day before I want to say so I did go, I have come back with a little bit of a cold and an ear infection as well so ignore that so I went for the 50 um, the pastel, the 50 set pastel uh, whole bean pencils I've already took them out I've kept hold of the packaging just to show you guys. It did come with a protective, quite thick plastic uh, over the top as well. But yeah, this is what the pencils come with. A uh, little bit of styrofoam there, you know. I, I would have thought it would have come in a tin for the price of these pencils. Um, you know, if you've used any sort of whole bean pencils, you know that they're quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I've kept all the box just to show you. Very nice. So that can go that now. So I got that one. I got the set of 12 of the basic colours, which again I've already put in pencil cases. And I got, uh, I think it was either 15 or 16 single pencils that I thought would be ideal for skin tones because that was one of the main things that I will use this for, obviously with the pastel tones as well. So I can move that out of the way now that I've showed you. So is it this side? Yes, yeah, so it's this side. So this is all the pastel tones. I will try and remember whereabouts it's up to, you know, and the pastel tones stop. But yeah, they have beautiful colours. I think it's around, it's here, it stops. So where the cool grey is at, cool grey, warm grey, all this. And the first two are the 50 set of the pastels. We've got a mixture of ones that I've bought, the singles, and then the 12, you know, the essential colours. And then these are the extras that I bought, basically just for skin tones. Uh, I think it was these three as well for skin tones. Um, I should have checked what was with the pastels, because now I've got, these are all doubles now, really. I've already put them where they belong in the... Um, in the pencil case and these are my doubles which don't get me wrong that's fantastic now that i've got doubles for skin tones i even went with a lavender I even went with a lavender for skin tones so the next color of a long or live stream or whatever it is that i decide to do i will use these just to show you what they are like you know live these are the color swatches i mean i don't know if i've done a superb job of uh, swatching but it did take me over an hour and a half to do this last night you can see how perfect I did it at the start when I started to get bored and just wanted it to be finished. You can see how streaky it is there. Uh, first impressions of these pencils, they are brilliant, don't get me wrong. And I understand what people say when they say it's a mixture between the Prismacolor Premier pencils and the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. I completely agree with that. I couldn't agree more. It's, it's like if you put them two pencils together and they're a the baby, it would be a whole band pencil. Um, am I blown away by them? Not really. I think my expectations were so high for these pencils that that when I've used them or swatched them last night, um, I shouldn't really say that because I've not actually properly used them to colour a picture, you know, adding layers and layers and shading, etc. I've just block coloured uh, these swatches, as you can see. So I think the jury's out a little bit, but when I first used them last night, I wasn't completely blown away. But like I said, um, the next time we do a stream or a video, we will use them together. And then, uh, you know, we can decide then. But yeah, they are really, we really love the colours, don't get me wrong, but they're so expensive. I think they're probably one of the most expensive. I think they're more expensive than Luminance, which I did on the air of whether to get them or not. But I believe, I think they're coming out with new colours. So it makes the whole range up to 100. Now I'm going off on one here. So my idea was that I wanted to wait until um, until the whole 100 set was out and then purchase it like that. 
Right, I only got a couple of things. From... Oh no, no, I will first show you actually. At least I must say. I got another full set of paints from uh, KJ Designs by Karen. This little tin, I just got it from one of the Disney shops that had mints in. And I thought it was ideal to keep all these sort of paints in. So it's this colour palette that I've got recently. And I've not used it on camera, I'm pretty sure. I think I got it the day before I went to wear. Which was this one, this one, this one and this one. Again, I can't really say they're amazing, they're fabulous. Because I haven't actually used them on a page yet. But um, I do like... Karen's original um, paints, designs, however, I still can't stand the ocean set, unfortunately. But I'm going to have to use it again because it wasn't cheap. So, yeah. So, the only other things that I got is from, it wasn't Walmart, because I went into Walmart and I went into Target just for a noser. And I managed to find this Faber Castell and it's still out. Of, I've used these, so I know I to use them. And it was on clearance. I've tried to move the sticker, so it was meant to be twelve twelve ninety nine, so twelve twelve dollars ninety nine. And it was reduced to three eighty eight. I think it's the last one. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna snap that up. There's gel paint in there which is gold, two gelatos which have not got them colours, and a little paint brush and what's that powder? Te uh, textural accents. So it'll be interesting. Let's have a play around. Oh, you get powders as well, pigment powders. And spatulas and all sorts. As you can see, I've not even opened this yet. I've just had it under my desk for when I was ready to um, to film. So I got that. And, you know, I, I love my prisms. I couldn't help myself. It was the last one I got on the shelf. I think I paid about 19 or $20 for these. So I took the cover off them. But it's just the basic. I hope I'll do it because of my nails. I want to go get my nails shortened, but I'm too nervous to go to the nail place with what's going on at the minute. I hope everyone is staying safe as well. We're just literally stuck in the house now. I don't, uh, I don't feel safe taking Isabel out. Yeah, so anyway, there's some colours here that I use quite often. Like the peach, indigo, blue, parma violet, white, you always need a white. So the backups of backups now. And the very last thing I nearly forgot, I probably used one of my desk. I've even kept them in my Disney bag. I'm going to rustle for a minute. I wasn't prepared. Not as much as I thought it was anyway. Yeah, there. Look like that, didn't I? I found these in Walmart. They were between, I think, 50 and 87 cents each. Um, there's a couple that I bought, not realising what they were. Like gloss, outdoor, indoor, multi-surface. That's another gloss. But these ones, I can use all these ones in my books because they're all matte. And I can go over them with coloured pencils and again with the pastels. I've just been on the pastel kit lately. Right, and they're gorgeous. And the lovely colours, I think I use, I've used this one, I'm testing that one out, and it seems to work, you know, perfectly well. Yeah, it is this one, because I took the cap off it. Well, I'm hope, I'm hoping, I say I'm hoping, to sort of get back, back into the swing of things now, even though, with what's going on, everyone's, you know, nervous. Um, so I'm hoping to get back on chat with videos and live streams. So just bear with me, guys, I've got a... We've got a house full at the minute, two kids, husband, two dogs, so I, I will try my best to find the time, you know, the quiet time that I can film and I can live stream, hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, anyway guys, I will speak to you, it'll be only a couple of days in a row, so I'll speak to you then. So subscribe if you're new and please like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.